Hello beginner violas, I hope you had a great week last week. Welcome back to week two of the virtual Benedetti sessions. Let's get warmed up and ready to play. Before we play anything on our instrument, you're going to need a pencil. So you can pause the video if you need and find a pencil and make sure your viola is ready beside you because we're going to use them both. So with our pencil, I'd like you to put your hand out flat like that. This is your bow hand, your right hand. You can wave it at me so you know it's ready. Now pop your pencil on there and what we're going to do is we're just going to roll the pencil in between our two hands like this. So it's like we're giving our fingers a really nice massage. They're going to the spa today and they're getting a really nice treatment. Okay, and now I want you to roll the pencil so that it stops just in this second bit of your fingers here. So it's not this bit down here, it's not your fingertips, it's in this middle segment here. And just keep your pencil there and then let your hand and your fingers just curl in like that. And then what you can do is you can just drop your hand down by your side and you should still be able to hold your pencil in a really, really nice and relaxed way like that. Okay, so once you've done that and your hand is nice and relaxed, then you can wake up your thumb and do some circles with it like that. That's it, get it really nice and awake. And then just put it onto the pencil on its tip like that. So nice and bendy thumb there. Okay, and so now at the moment, all of my fingers are hanging over the pencil like that, but we know that one of our fingers needs to be somewhere else and it's our pinky finger, isn't it? So pop that up on top like that and we're going to say a little rhyme together. So I'm going to say it first and then you can say it back to me. And it goes like this, up like a rocket, down like the rain. And then it goes back and forth like an express train. And then around and around like a great big sun. Up on my head and look at my bendy thumb. Hopefully you did that along with me. You can try that a few times if you find that a bit tricky or if you think you can't remember all those words. You can always pause and go back until you feel confident. Let's try all of that together now. So make sure that you've still got a bendy thumb that you've still got three fingers over and your pinky finger on top like this. Okay, let's say the rhyme together. Here we go. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like an express train, around and around like a great big sun, up on my head and look at my bendy thumb. Okay, so now, hopefully you've got a really lovely bow hold with a bendy thumb and bendy pinky finger and all of these fingers hanging over so you might want to just take a mental picture of that because I'm going to ask you to put that onto your bow next so let's get our violas and our bows and let's I'm just going to tighten my bow up and then let's get our violas into playing position so you might remember last week I did a little bit of tapping like this I'm going to send you another secret code and I'll let you to send it back here I go your turn here I go again. Okay, now, try and find that pencil bow hold again. If you find that quite tricky, you can hook your bow on and then you can, then that means that you don't have to hold the weight of your bow while you're trying to find your bow hold. So there you go, like that. Now, what we're going to do now is something that is incredibly important when you're playing in an orchestra. And some of you will have played in orchestras before and some of you won't have done this before. Um, when we play in an orchestra and we have lots of violas going back in a line, you might have seen that before, that's called a section. And a section is basically just a team. And the viola team uh, all have to play in the same part of the bow. So if the person at the front of the team is playing at the heel of the bow, everyone's got to play there. And if they're playing at the tip of the bow, everyone's got to play there. So let's just practice a little bit of copying now. So can you see if you can copy me if I'm putting my bow on at the heel or in the middle or at the tip? Let's try that, any string. Don't worry if you make a bit of noise or a bit of a crunch, that's okay. Okay, hopefully you managed to copy that. Now I'm going to play a rhythm on my D string. 
and it's going to be four beats long and I would like you to copy it straight back to me but not just any old way I would like you to copy it straight back in the exact same part of the bow as what I do so let's have a go on D and I'm going to play four beats and then you're going to play it back to me one two here I go <laughs> Well done. Did you notice that for those short notes, I did short bows at the heel? Hopefully you did. Let's try that one again. Here I go. Let's try one on G now. I hope you whooshed all the way out to the tip and then did small bows and then whooshed all the way back and small bows again. Let's do one on C string now to finish off since we're playing the viola. So get your elbow nice and high up on C and here comes my final rhythm. <laughs> Well done team beginner viola and have a great week.